Chef Buck here and today we're going to take a look at some canned salmon. Pink salmon, red salmon. What's the difference? Let's open these cans and find out. Now this is the pink salmon and this is the red salmon. And as you can see this one definitely has a little bit more color than this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is drain the liquid out of these cans. So this is our red salmon and here's our pink salmon. Now the number one thing you'll notice about both of these salmon is that neither one of them is going to win a beauty contest. You know, they're both not even runners up. They're behind the curtain crying. But the most significant difference is the price. I think I paid $7 for this red salmon and this was about $4 for the pink. And the reason is because they are different fish. They're both salmon, but they're different varieties. And there's a lot more of this salmon than this salmon. So it's supply and demand. It's mathematics. It's economics. You know, if you subscribe to Forbes and read it like I do, then you're going to know all about the, the finances of this fish. Oh my God. This is sockeye salmon. This is red salmon. This is pink salmon. This is humpback salmon. So that's why they have the difference in color. But they're both healthy. They both have, uh, you know, the same nutrition that you're going to get you know, from a canned fish, you know, if you're eating your canned fish because you want to eat healthy, you're going to be fine either which way. Now the red salmon is a fattier fish. It has more calories. The texture is meatier. Now the pink salmon, you know, it's got less fat. It's got less calories and it is a softer fish. It doesn't have the same texture. But they're both great sources of omega-3s. You can use them the same in all kinds of recipes. It's fantastic. So is the difference between them worth almost, what is that, 30% more, 35% more? I'm making this video to show you the difference between the <laughs> sockeye salmon and the humpback pink salmon. Yeah. Just so you can see the difference. Mm -hmm. And then after you have seen the difference, go buy the pink salmon. <laughs> you know, unless you got, you know, money falling out of your butt. Now, when you're buying pink salmon, like this pink salmon here was wild caught Alaskan salmon. And in fact, when you buy canned salmon, it's almost always wild caught. If you're buying frozen salmon or you're buying fresh fillets, you know, sometimes it'll be farm raised and it'll say farm raised. And when it's farm raised, that's usually pink salmon too, because that is just an easier fish for fish farmers to farm. But, if you get in a can, it's almost always wild caught. You just got to make sure and check the label. You know, the label is very important, especially with pink salmon, because it's quite a variety and difference. I said that the sockeye salmon has more fat and calories, and it does. But you can have a lot of variety between different brands of pink salmon as well. And this one right here, if you look, you know, like these say, you know, they're from Alaska. And I think this is from Alaska, too. But it says product of Thailand. Now they didn't catch this salmon in Thailand, I don't think. I think it just went over there, you know, to be put in a can and processed. So this salmon has traveled around a little bit more than this salmon. This is a more worldly salmon. But I'm not going to have a conversation with this salmon. So I don't care about the stories it has to tell. I just want to eat it. And the fish that I want to eat is the one that got in the can the quickest. Now... Let's take a look inside our... Uh-oh, you need help getting up? Ah, so as you can see, you've got your spinal cord in here. Let's open it up and look. Boom, boom, boom. So you got bones, but because it's been cooked in the can, these bones are soft and they're edible and it's great nutrition. Now I used to take the bones and skin off of these fish when I was younger and I was a little uh, less enamored by the look of it. But as I've gotten older and I realize that all, all the nutrients that I'm wasting by not eating this, you know, now that I've become more nutritionally savvy, you know, I just make sure and crush up my bones and skin and I use them in my salmon patties. But whether you're getting the pink or the red, it's going to be the same thing. You know, you're going to have skin and you're also going to have bones. All right, so let's look at the texture of the fish. See, this falls apart very easily, and it's just a softer feel. It's just a little mushier. Now, this salmon right here, it's just a little meatier. You see how it breaks apart and holds its shape a little bit more? It's just a firmer fish. 
So now that I have fondled my fish to completion, we are going to go ahead, or I'm going to go ahead and make some salmon patties. I'm gonna make some salmon patties with the pink salmon, and I'm gonna make some with the red salmon. And then we'll take a look. I'll make them exactly the same. And then we'll see what the difference is once they're cooked. Alrighty, so I've got everything cooked up and probably only took about a half hour to do everything. So this is the pink and the red that I cooked in the skillet and this is the pink and the red that I baked in the oven. Now this salmon is already cooked in the can so you don't have to cook it at all. You know, you can just eat it right out of the can. You can mash it up and mix it up with some other ingredients and eat it like tuna if you like. You know, like a tuna fish sandwich, you can make it with salmon. But I like to cook it. It adds to the flavor, it adds to the texture. You don't have to cook it for too long in the skillet. I usually cook it about three minutes on each side. You know, the oven takes a little bit longer. It takes about 20 minutes total. And I flipped it, which you don't have to do really, but I like to get a little color on each side. But let's look at the difference here. Now, this is the pink right here. You can see it's still steaming. Hasn't been off of the skillet for very long. And now for the red sockeye salmon, let's see the difference here. So not really much of a difference. Now there'll be a slight difference in taste, a little bit difference in texture. Now you can tell uh, when you make the patties and put them in the oven, the pink salmon feels moister. It feels mushier and gushier. Uh, there's definitely more liquid in it to cook off. That was the red right there. And this is the pink. I'd say the biggest difference is in the texture. But they both have that salmoniness, but it's not overpoweringly fishy. It's really good. They're fantastic if you put them in a little sauce and eat them. I like to make burgers, fish burgers out of canned salmon. But I really like them fried in a skillet like this here. If you want to, you can bake them in the oven. So these will come out of the skillet a lot quicker, but this isn't a long time at all. This is the pink salmon. And this is the red salmon right here. So when you make them into salmon patties, not much of a difference at all. Saute gives it a little more brown. I guess you could broil them for a second. But there's plenty of color on here. I wouldn't cook them any more than this because you don't want to dry them out. That's true too. If you're just looking to get the, the nutrition from the fish and you don't want to fry it in a skillet, then bake salmon. I mean, that's uh, what's healthier than that? Broccoli? As you can see, there's not much of a difference, you know, looking at it. The biggest difference is in the price. And I mean, it's such a big difference. It's like a no brainer to go with the pink salmon. Wild caught Alaska salmon. I mean, if you want some healthy fish that hasn't been around the block too many times, then you, you can't beat canned salmon, certainly not for price. Even the red sockeye salmon, as expensive as it is, you know, it's quite a deal when it's when you compare it to uh, fillets of salmon. You know, I have links down below if you want to check out some different canned salmon recipes. Uh, red salmon, pink salmon, pan's still kind of hot, but I just shrugged it off, no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we appreciate you watching and subscribing and thumbs it up and commenting and all that stuff. We hope you have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.